this road starts from uh, Isuru and ends up here. It is 503 kilometers. Uh, we started working on this road in 2009 when we did the first section of um, Isuru to Merida River. But now from Merida River to this place, where we started working on it from 2012, and we were able to complete that, this work last year. Within the same project, we had um, provision to do access roads within the towns, Masabit and also in this place. Uh, we have constructed one-stop border post, which then assist in uh, terms of uh, immigration, uh, customs and clearance, uh, so that then the traffic between us and Kenya, uh, between us and Ethiopia, can easily be able to flow with a, with a lot of ease. In addition to having the road, which uh, the people are now using, we also had to do a lot of boreholes. Uh, several boreholes, several uh, pans, water pans, and they have assisted the local people here. Because one of the biggest problems we have in this region is water uh, for livestock and for human. And uh, those dams that we have constructed together with the boreholes, they have been able to assist. We are very happy to be here today to see the commissioning of this uh, Turbi Moyali road, which is part of the larger Isiolo, Merile, uh, Turbi Moyali, and all the way to the border post. This is a major artery uh, and is very significant for, in several respects. First, this is the uh, conclusion of the great north-south road between Cairo and Cape Town. This was largely the missing link. Now the road from Cape Town to Cairo you can say is a fully paved road and Kenya and Ethiopia have done their part to, to do this. But more closer to home, this is the major artery connecting Kenya and Ethiopia. These are two great neighbors, great economic partners, big traders among themselves. This is not just a road, this is a road that transforms lives, transforms the two countries. Very soon, if you come here in six months' time, you'll see the number of trucks running back and forth between the two countries. This part of the Lapsot Corridor, uh, from the Lamu port through Isiolo to Moyale, and there's also the arm which goes through Nginyang, Lodwa to South Sudan. This project is very important because it will open up the country uh, as envisioned in the Vision 2030, where this emphasis on the on infrastructure. So this is one of the major projects we are undertaking under the Vision 2030, and basically the Ethiopian section is already done and is now complete. The motorists were incurring a lot of costs in terms of uh, maintenance costs of their vehicles. The travel times are also much longer. It was taking several days to travel from Isiolo all the way to Moyali, up to three days. That has really been shortened significantly. We were able to deliver the road within uh, the, the whole project within reasonable time, uh, a maximum of uh, three and a half years on all the sections as planned. We also were able to support uh, the communities by providing them with employment opportunities. And uh, on every section, about a thousand people were employed every month. <laughs> Lakini kwa sasa tumepata lami tunafanya kazi vizuri alafu kuna security light mbaye serikali waletuletea sasa kazi zinaendelea vizuri I'm not
geyerdi. monumental and we, we, we are grateful that the government and particularly Kenha has shown the leadership required to bring it to a successful conclusion. We are happy to have supported the government of uh, Kenya, the African Development Bank supported the government of Kenya to finance this road and we look forward to our continued cooperation.